because you are having an exciting and resourceful day. Before addressing the concerns of grant subscribers in the grant ecosystem, the bundle heads, the beneficiaries and NGO, including the disbursement template where you know how much you are to receive as a beneficiary and a bundle head, and generally the activities towards disbursement. Let me quickly inform you that uh, today I was on a business summit in Nigeria. The business summit held by one of the best digital bank in the world right now, Shao Bank. Shao Bank, first Africa summit in Nigeria. A business that pays 0.5%, 0.6%, even 0.9% fixed daily interest for three years, for five years, and 10 years. I know you want to say I have invested in so many online businesses, I've lost my money, online businesses are not reliable. I'm intimating you here that Shao Bank is one of the most authenticated and reliable or sustainable business in the digital institution right now. Every investor always considers the security and the sustainability of a given digital business before investing in it. And most of us have made these mistakes without investigating the sustainability and duration of this business via white paper before jumping into it. Hence, I'm introducing Shaw Bank to you for those of you that are anticipating disbursement of UAAG grant. This is one of those destinations you can invest your money in and have security and peace of mind for 5 years, for 10 years you will receive your interest. have been here for a while, that's why I'm setting up introducing it to you. Let me inform you of why you should trust them to invest your money in. Most online businesses always fold up between periods of 6 months to 1 year. Every business, every online business that have sustained beyond one year, two years, is a business to rely on. Chao Bank is not just a bank that shows up like every other digital business. It's a subsidiary of a parent Chao Bank group called the Global Future Enterprise Group, existing over 17 years ago in Hong Kong. They have been engaged in high technology, property management, culture, education, and banking services. This subsidiary group of the parent enterprise group existed since September 2022. September 2023 was their one year anniversary. September 2024 will mark their two years. Have been here as a partner and investor in Shao Bank since 2023 and still counting here. What is their sustainability plan? that you should consider as an investor before you decide to uh, buy bonds with them. Before even saying that, let me inform you that Shaw Bank deal with bonds, B-O-N-D-S. They sell bonds, securities, credit loans for companies that are engaging in high profile businesses. For us in the Nigerian sector, we are leveraging on the bond series of Shaw Bank. Bonds are simply financial securities or instruments issued by corporations to its customers as a way of raising money to fund their businesses or expand their activities in the global business sector. The years or duration of existence since 17 years ago, still standing strong and expanding to its subsidiary group, which is the new bank, Shao Bank, we are investing right now in. your security of investment when you buy a bond they issue to you a bond certificate and a bond agreement the bond certificate or the agreement stand as legal instrument to safeguard your asset with the new bank sector in case of eventuality this agreement is what you will use and approach the insurance corporation there is an insurance corporation called go insurance that is collaborating with Shaw Bank, their responsibility between you and Shaw Bank with them is to ensure if there is bankruptcy or eventuality, they will indemnify your assets 
without any single trace of loss. It's there in the back office or what you just need to do. If there is any eventuality, you log into the site of the Go Insurance and request for indemnification of your assets and it is done instantly. The next question you should be asking is, what are they engaging in currently in the new banking services? To be able to pay this high percentage interest that Nigerian banks aren't paying. Please note that uh, Shao Bank, a uh, fintech institution that sells bonds, gives credit to companies, loans, and security instruments. Shao Bank is one of those uh, flexible digital businesses for you in this particular economic state where there is inflation of goods and services because they pay in dollars any business minded fellow right now is doing business that pays in dollar imagine that i'm earning hundred dollars in this shower bank hundred dollar in one thousand seven hundred naira or six hundred naira exchange rate right now earns about one hundred and seventy to ninety thousand naira in right now this business pays fixed daily interest of five percent Imagine that you are buying the list of bonds in Shao Bank at 100,000 Naira, which is uh, currently $52, and earns fixed daily interest of 0.5% of this 100,000. In 7 days or in 30 days, you are earning $15 to $17. How much is $17 or $15 right now with just 100,000 Naira? Then if you are investing 300,000, that is about $45 every month. If you invest 500,000, that is approximately uh, $60 every month. Shao Bank is one of those generous banks I've seen in recent times. You have opportunity of earning 1.6 million as an agent of Shao Bank in Nigeria. You equally have opportunity of earning uh, tokens of between 30,000 to 50,000 every month. These are all generous services or gestures of Shao Bank. You don't actually rely on your fixed daily interest. Even when your interest of $60 is still counting, you still stand every month. Shao Bank give these tokens to all her customers. They give award for services. Just like in today's event, have been given award by Shao Bank as a the top 10 digital marketer right now in Nigeria. This comes with tokens to me. This is my second award for today. Award for Africa Community Administrator. Two awards in the same day. These are all tokens to be converted in dollars worth over $200 right now. This is outside of my fixed daily interest in Xiaobank. Digital marketers like us aren't greedy. That is why I'm introducing it to you here in the grand ecosystem and in the African continental school to explore the many opportunities of Shao Bank and ensure you end digitally every day for 10 years in hard currency, in dollars. You want to know more about how you can leverage on Shao Bank opportunities right now? Drop your request in the comment section of this channel and drop your phone number too. I will give you a call and connect you to the appropriate WhatsApp and Telegram groups to explore these opportunities. Now let's address those subject matters of urgent public importance in the grant ecosystem. Currently, there are some NGOs who submitted wrong account number and wrong BPN in the UANGR. The second subject of importance is the concern of bundle heads and recipients who submitted more number of bundles, 10 bundles, 35 bundles to NGO and being faced with the reality of receiving one or five bundles only. Then the concern of uh, MOU and broadcast by the country director of UAAG, Apostle Ambassador Dr. Ken Wakama and the death of UAAG disbursement. These are all factors that we are going to address in this session today.
let's quickly address the concern of incorrect account details and BBN submitted by NGO CEOs in the app. I wish to intimate you that the schedule that was presented by UAAG to the bank was sorted since Thursday and Friday last week. Many NGOs were discovered to submit incorrect account details. Some NGO submitted nine digit account number instead of 10. Some did not even submit the correct BVN. Some don't even submit their name. If you are an NGO CEO right now, look out for the moment the app is going to be accessible and ensure your account number and BVN with name is correct. Again, there are those NGO who doesn't use updated Android devices. And when it is time for the UAAG ICT to uh, capture their BVN, even the NIL in their portal or dashboard, it is noticed that the BVN and the NIL is not available in, in that place. What you need to do is to use a different phone. Every NGO should engage in this activity right now. Use a different phone and log into your dashboard in the UAAG app to see if your name and BBN is intact as you filled it. It may actually be there in your phone because you haven't uh, cleared your catch for some time. Unknowingly that outsiders that are logging into the app cannot even access your BBN. And these are possible circumstances where some NGOs may not even receive disbursement after others have received theirs check this and ensure the the intact of your bbn and name on the uaag dashboard if you are a subscriber or bundle head watching this video or ngo pass it to your ngo or fellow ngos to be aware of this reality sorting of account details was ongoing since thursday and friday and is still going on right now don't be left out Let us quickly address the concerns of beneficiaries and bundle heads who are currently afraid of not going to receive disbursement because of the circulating rumor of lesser number of bundles to be allocated by UAAG to the NGOs. There is no cause for alarm at all. Assuming you apply for 500 or 1000 bundles and you are given just either one to five bundles, Everyone needs to adjust their slots to fit with the number of bundles allocated by the UAAG to the NGO. That means if you are a bundle head that submitted 10 bundles, 45 bundles, and he's given just one bundle or five bundles, you need to adjust your slot to fit in with this. Every NGO who is given lesser number of bundles need to adjust their bundle expectation to suit with their total number of bundle heads in their NGO. You have 500 bundle heads or you have 1000 bundle heads. Then capture all of them as recipients, 500 recipients or 1000 recipients. So you still meet up with the lesser number of bundles that is allocated to you. As a bundle head who have 55 slots or even 200 slots with your NGO, all what you just need to do is to provide 55 or 200 different account details to your NGO to receive the same grant as a recipient. The difference between a bundle head and a beneficiary is still very clear. A beneficiary is just benefiting in one slot as a beneficiary whereas you as a bundle head is benefiting times the number of slots that you submitted to your NGO. Notwithstanding this, ordinary beneficiaries who equally have their details with other NGO will still receive as a single beneficiary in the total number of NGOs they subscribe with. In the same vein, the bundle heads who equally have say 50 bundles, 10 bundles with other NGO will equally have 10 different slots to receive as recipients in the total number of NGOs that they subscribe with. It's purely a win-win for every cadre of subscribers in the ecosystem.
on the concern of bundle head on the hostiles that would uh, address to the masses that the UAAG have no concern with the bundle heads, only the NGO and, and beneficiaries. In this aspect, I've seen some audience of bundle heads entertaining fears that their NGO will not disburse to them because the UAAG are no more involved in regulating their activities. This is incorrect. UAAG has already provided all modalities to checkmate the activities of this NGO. I have earlier informed you that there is a monitoring team in every state, in every region to checkmate this disbursement of this grant of the NGO. After disbursement, they will tender the account statement to this monitoring body or to other appropriate institution to verify their disbursement to you as a bundle head or recipient. Don't forget that there is an MOU that is going to be signed by all NGOs standing as those instruments to regulate the activities of the UAAG and the NGO CEOs all to ensure there is no uh, flaunting of those prescriptions in the MOU by the NGO. So there's no need for anyone to be scared uh, that NGOs will boycott the entitlement that is meant for them. Therefore, don't entertain any fears because the UAAG is purely by your side to ensure you are disposed to as a bundle head or as a recipient and don't entertain any fear of number of bundles that you submit to your NGO because you will still receive the grant in that same number of bundles not but as a beneficiary. Up next is the concern of uh, the MOU and the national broadcast by the country director of UAAG, Apostle Ambassador Dr. Ken Wakama. When is the MOU or the broadcast taking place? From information gotten from authenticated sources, the MOU and the broadcast by the country director can take place any moment from now in the new week that we are stepping in. It's already a disbursement hour that we are all in. MOU can take place even as this update is going on right now. On the concern of this grant not being from UAS or UAAG, I can't help but imagine why grant subscribers are beginning more interested on the source of the grant. Or we are interested in the disbursement or the alert in our bank account. Why should anyone be bothered on if the grant is from the federal government, is not from the UAS, is not from the UAAG? Please, this is not the concern of grant subscribers right now. Whatever is the donor, whatever is the source, as long as it is a grant that will take care of the difficulties, the distress, and the hunger, starvation going on right now. That is the concern of everyone at the moment, not where the source of this grant is from. The disbursement template. This has been lingering for a while. How much is the entitlement of a bundle head or recipient or NGO CEOs? The disbursement template is already out. For those who were speculating um, 10 million, 20 million, all this while, as a beneficiary, I'm using the word beneficiary or recipient, your entitlement is between 300,000 and 3 million Naira. If you have 10 bundles, you count it 300,000 times 10 or 3 million times 10. That is what you are entitled to when this grant is disbursed. And it is not even the arrangement of the UAAG. The whole uh, grant entitlement is appropriated by the appropriate government financial body all to ensure that there is a lift off of Nigerians from poverty, from struggles to business growth and expansion and to equally ensure there is economic stability despite the amount of money that is circulating in the country.
from tomorrow monday the needs will start and that god will help our people the country director and his team and our all grand pleasure group those who are fighting to see that this whole thing works out that for tomorrow nothing will stand again as an obstacle disbursement will start rolling yes, out of disbursement everyone wants to know when disbursement is taking place it's been lingering since six years ago five years ago we were told money has dropped in the designated commercial bank account of uaag or stars that would came up and said money did not drop few days later he returned to the ecosystem and intimated them that uh, money did not actually drop in the ngo beneficiary account all these are pointers that disbursement is already in the weather february is the month of disbursement use your tongue and count your teeth if the uaag have started sorting out the account details since Thursday and Friday last week in the bank and the bank are returning the invalid or incorrect account details for correction by the UAAG. You know disbursement is taking place from Monday to Wednesday or Friday. In the